In this episode of Modern Greaser, the Diesel Swap C10 gets a major safety upgrade. Considering in this vehicle that I use my arms as the turn signals and that the rear view mirror shakes so violently that no matter how many times I glue it back on, it just keeps falling down. There's a huge crack in the windshield. The exhaust dumps out of the hood and poisons me as I drive. The metal plate on the steering wheel is sketchy and let's be honest, this truck needs lots of things. But what I chose is the best bang for your buck for safety. And it couldn't have been done without the help from Westco Performance at westcoperformance.com in California. They sent us something super awesome that I'm really excited to show you. On this episode of Modern Greaser, we are making this truck safer. I was driving the other day and there's a big hunk of metal. I'm like, that's what my face is gonna hit. So I need to protect it. It's 2019 and I was looking for a solution for a shoulder harness. If you remember the episode of the F100, my friend Matt got sideswiped really bad and you can see that it messed up the door. There's all kinds of black marks. The fender had been replaced. Having newer seat belts in an older vehicle is a good thing because lap belts in an accident aren't gonna keep you very safe. Naturally, my first stop was a junkyard where I found some seat belts out of a Cadillac that would fit my late model Silverado seats. The seats in my truck have retractors that are built into the seat, so it's pretty ingenious. You bolt the seats in and they have a nice engineered safety system. However, the seat belts that I cut out were $50. They turned out to be absolute garbage even though they came out of the nicest car there. I ended up throwing them in the garbage. 50 bucks in the trash. Lucky squirrels. Do squirrels eat seat belts? West Coast Performance in California has the solution. They have not only seatbelt solutions for this C10, they have seatbelt solutions for convertibles. They have them for hardtops. They have them for RVs and forklifts and off-road vehicles, and they have it for everything. If you're looking to replace a seatbelt setup in a vehicle that already has a three-point setup, Westco Performance has exactly what you need. Now, what's great about this is that a lot of these cars don't have these mounts, and they make a special bracket that will fit all those needs. If you're like me and you have a 1965 GTO with a hard top, this bracket is gonna save you big time. We have a upper location you can mount it. You can mount it down here lower. There's endless options with this kit. As you can see, there's no post here. So what are you gonna do if you're gonna mount some seat belts into it? Well, and that could be your mounting point right there. You can also mount it up here. On cars like this, once you pull this interior panel off, you should be able to just reach your hand back in there, drill your half inch hole, Drill your rivet holes and you'll be good to go. The seatbelt conversion in this C10 was very simple. I'm gonna show you a real quick walkthrough of how that goes and how that went. It went really easy. And on other vehicles, it's just as easy. If you're looking for instructions, the instructions are on West Coast's website on how to install this. Uh, but it's really, really straightforward. Can't wait to get these on. Can't wait to be safe driving around. And I think the red's gonna look pretty bad to the bone. This is flame red. The set I'm doing is a 2006. Be sure to follow the instructions exactly. They're saying to have it at or a little behind the seat. And the other thing is to have it between zero and eight inches above the seat. Westco Performance has a retrofit mounting bracket for vehicles like mine that did not have an anchor point equipped in the vehicle. I am first gonna drill my half inch hole. Make sure that you get a punch. If I couldn't actually stick my arm up here behind this and access it like you're gonna see in a second, so I'd actually have to drill an inch and a half hole right here below it and slide this up behind it. When you select your 3 16th inch rivets, make sure you get steel rivets. They have aluminum rivets, but aluminum is probably not the best when you're talking about installing a seatbelt. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my arm up in here. I have my mounting bracket behind here, and I'm just gonna simply put in my 3 16th inch rivets. all installed. When you're taking this red piece off, be careful so that you don't break the little tabs. The retractors are going down here. You do not want to bolt your seatbelt on top of Dynamat because it's soft and over time it can loosen up. You don't want to bolt it on top of carpet. So you want to make sure it's metal to metal. One is a grade 8 hardened bolt and a grade 5 which is this and um, you need the grade 8 bolts for that. On my particular vehicle, my seats were made for having seat belts attached to them, so they were engineered for that. However, 
do not attach your seat belt to your seat. On my particular install, I am actually going to be mounting mine directly to the seats because these seats are out of a late model Silverado. So, so when you see those in the video, that's what it is. Normally, any older vehicles you're retrofitting, you will not attach it to the seat unless it is a seat that had seat belts in it. Okay, the one thing you can see is I'm wearing gloves because if you're dealing with any of these different colors like the red, you're gonna stain them. And as you can see, I've got goop on mine from the Dynamat. It's kind of like a black tar looking stuff and you'll never get that out. So especially if you're stalling white or tan or silver or anything like that, be real careful. I think that's gonna be the biggest thing is keeping these clean or you'll be really mad at yourself. Since these seat belts are flame red, they might be even more fancy than those in an AMG Black Series. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that, whoa. My face is not gonna smash that big, ugly metal thing. Heck yeah. on this insulation went really well however I did make one mistake when I was putting in the pop rivet the gun actually moved and it scratched the side of my truck and uh, you can see it right here where that happened yeah that's a bummer right but you know it is what it is if I was more worried about this truck I would have put some painters tape on it and I should have foresaw that happening but I did not so you know you make mistakes but luckily this wasn't a show car it is what it is and just because you don't have a big garage doesn't mean you shouldn't install things. My narrow little driveway, I can't even open the doors. I have to pull it up between a tree. But it doesn't matter. Get out there and work on your cars. That's what's having fun with cars is all about. I don't normally invite my wife, who is 34 weeks pregnant, to ride in the truck with me. However, if there's a short jaunt to the grocery store or if there's a car show that's really close nearby, you know, it makes me feel a whole lot better having a shoulder restraint and um, I know what you're saying. Hey, you've got that big stack and she's breathing diesel set. No, I have this really terrible two foot stack that actually blows it over the cab. You don't smell anything. So I'm not worried about that, but um, it's definitely another added layer of protection to keep my family safe. So maybe you don't want to get a three point harness like I got. I get you, that's fine. I'm not changing out the lap belts in the GTO because the seats only come up to your mid back. There's no point. So westcoatperformance.com has any kind of lap belt you could think of every color every style every shape you can get them with gm buckles and even the three-point harnesses you can get those with gm buckles you can get them with the old school latch buckles it's amazing in any shape or form that you can think of not only that but they have a huge line of racing equipment in fact it's the exact place where i heard the stig shops for all of his gear they have an extensive line of white helmets what other more proof do you need than that as you can see these red seat belts are Amazing. Look at them. They just look so good. I've only seen these in supercars. So that must make my truck a super truck. So thank you, Westco Performance. These are way better than I even ever imagined. I thought, hey, you know what? These are going to be really cool. Everything on their website looks awesome. And when they arrived at my door, they were just breathtaking. Getting these seatbelts and seeing them out of the box the first time were as breathtaking as watching a little kitten drink a saucer of milk for the first time. It's one of the rare, beautiful things in life. Couldn't have done it without Westco Performance. Check them out, westcoperformance.com. All I can say is, On the next episode of Modern Greaser, we are going to be checking out a mystery car. It's 64 years old. It has a 2004 Corvette engine in it. Vintage air, power roll-up windows, rack and pinion, power disc brakes, lots of cool creature comforts. And as we're out gallivanting in that sweet ride, we run into some guys that are only 18, wrenching in the driveway. 
on a 67 Camaro. How cool is that? So be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe and not miss the next episode of Modern Greaser because you are going to solve the mystery. Also, if you think you're really a car guy, put in the comments what you think this car is. I gave away a little information about it. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Ooh, that's a hint. Leave your comment below on what you think it is. And if you're really good, guess what color? 